Good day. Well, today I want to talk to you about being chosen. It's a Bible verse is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called out called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. When I was very young, uh, I wanted to try out for the Little League team in our neighborhood. And uh, that was back in the days when uh, everybody didn't get chosen to play. And uh, I remember going and, and trying and, and practicing. And uh, after a few drills or, or whatever, I went and uh, got uh, an opportunity to try out. And I was really expecting to be chosen. I thought this was, a, uh, was my time to be a little league ball, be a baseball player. Well, as you might guess, uh, I was not chosen. And boy, was I, I mean, I was, oh, I was dejected. I, I mean, I, I remember that walk home that afternoon. Well, most people can probably identify with this experience, whether or not selected to be part of a team, not accepted into the college of their choice, or not chosen to receive a desired job. When we aren't included or chosen, we can become discouraged. But even when others find us unsuitable, we have been chosen to be members of God's family. What a privilege. What a great privilege. Furthermore, we have been chosen to declare the praises of God who called us out of the darkness into God's light. When we feel insignificant and unwanted, we can remember our family and our high calling. We are God's ambassadors, proclaiming the message of reconciliation to the world, and we should remember that. Please follow me in prayer. Did God, dear God, thank you for choosing us. Help us to remember that we have an honorable calling. Amen.